What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is One of a Kind Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you'll never miss a video. And comment down below. Today, we're going to talk about Mitten Tree Day. We celebrate Mitten Tree Day on December the 6th as a fun holiday that encourages users and givers giving mittens. Mittens are the perfect solution to keep your hands warm when playing in the snow and building snowmen. But mittens are also a perfect gift for those who do not have a heater or a fireplace to keep them warm. So purchase or knit some creative and colorful mittens that you would love to sport when you step out of the house. Plus a few extra for someone less fortunate than you. History of Mitten Tree Day. We don't know the details of the history of Mitten Tree Day, but there is a brief that school teachers formed it during Christmas time. The idea of Mitten Tree Day is said to have emerged as a fun classic activity, which they named after a book. The which. The idea of mitten tree is said to have emerged as a fun class activity, which they named after a book called The Mitten Tree. The book of Arthur Candace Christian focused the timeline on a woman who missed her grown up children. In, in the book, the lady walks through the cold winter weather and spots a few children waiting at the school bus stop. The lady notices that the children want to, want to play in the snow, but can't because they have no any mittens on their hands to play in the snow. Feeling sorry for the kids, she knits a basket full of mittens and hangs them on a tree near the bus stop. The woman continues to knit mittens for the kids and her of her town and no longer drown in the memory of her children. According to the source, the name mittens comes from the old French word M I T A I N E. Mittain? 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 Something like that. Okay. It was an old pet name for a cat. Wow. And at the time, mittens were made of animal fur. The earliest mittens found are said to date back to 1000 AD. Mittens are also very common in medieval Europe. However, since they were hard to make, they were often worn as a fashion statement by, a, by the wealthy. Today, we make mittens from different materials like wool, leather, fur, and polyester. They also tend to be warmer than gloves because our fingers generate more than when they are together. Okay, mitten tree timeline. Tree day timeline. 1363 to 1323 BC. Need of the hour. People have mittens from linen, from linen and tie them around their waist. 1803, the art. A rolling mitten with a poem pattern is, is created. 1857, Leafy Woman. <laughs> uh, I don't know this person. Mary Amstead makes black and white eight leafy pattern mitten. 1953, Royal Mitten. Elizabeth II wore a snowy leather pair of mitten for, for her crowding. 
I'm going to tell you, mittens will keep your hands warm. You'll be surprised. And celebrate how to celebrate mitten tree day number one. Go mitten shopping. Ooh, wow. That's like going it's like going glove shopping, but you, you're doing it for mittens. Now it's the time to shop for mittens for yourself. Your loved ones and those in need experiment with colors and patterns and search for for sales on the day. Number two, showcase your mittens. First you go shopping for them, then you showcase them. Man, look at this right here, this is dope. Okay, have a pair of mittens you want to show off, start talking, start taking pictures and posting them on social media for the world to see. Number three, decorate a tree with mittens. Mittens are one of the most creative Christmas tree decorations and so useful too. Perhaps you could take a page from the mitten tree and leave mittens for children or the less fortunate to find. Thank you. First you go shopping for them. <laughs> then you showcase what you can make, your mittens or whatever. And then you go decorate a tree with them. If that ain't, a, if that ain't what I call being productive, I don't know what is. Five facts about mittens. Number one, mittens in the 1800s. They were called hand, hailing hands by American colonists. Number two, L-A-T-V-I-A-N. Latvian tradition. Women getting married are given a hope chest, hope chest filled with mittens. Number three, America's first female entrepreneur. Abby Condon Soul knitted mittens for soldiers during the American Civil War. War. Number four, expired mittens. Inspired. I'm sorry. Some mittens have poetry verses woven into their design. Then number five, the most popular mitten pattern, the Star of Rose pattern, is the most loved mitten pattern. Man, we just learned a lot about mittens. When you go shopping for them, I'm gonna say this the third time I say it. When you go shopping for them, then you create what you do. Man, I got a heart right here on mine. I got a B. I got an O B. You know what I'm saying? What of a kind vlog. <laughs> and then you go decorate a tree. That's some dope stuff, man. I learned a lot about mittens already. Stuff that I didn't know. So I'm going to end this video, so if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you'll never miss a video, comment down below, let me know what you think about the video, and remember, you are too blessed to be stressed, love happens at all times, hug somebody and tell them you love them, and always do a random act of kindness, until next time, peace.